Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're your hosts. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone, and we've got some funny stuff to talk about this week. Uh, what do you call it? We, as uh, we mentioned last time, we are doing mini episodes. So those of you who want more Dirty Little Secrets Club, go listen to old episodes. <laughs> <laughs> because we ain't got time for you this week. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what do you call it? Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Also, um, Dana's been making sure that on, I believe it's um, Insta and on um TikTok. Uh, TikTok. You've the been TikTok machine. Clips, clips from old episodes. So if you guys are listening, you want to give us some support there, we would we do appreciate it. Um, you know, trying to work that algorithm as best as we can. Yeah. And if you found us on TikTok and ended up listening to our episodes, we would love to hear that from you. Go and comment on one of our videos, or you could leave us a rate and review also. That would be very appreciated. Uh, so I actually had, uh, since we are pre-recording this, I will say I actually had Taco Bell last night. Ooh. And, and, and no, it wasn't good. It actually bothered me. It, it so, made me feel gross afterwards. A cheesy gordita crunch is all I want in my life. Like there are times yeah. where you just have to have a cheesy gordita crunch about it. Sometimes you need it. So, And I, I really, I want it. I did uh -huh. want it. But they got my order wrong. I was annoyed about oh, that. They yeah. broke my. They broke a couple of the freaking shells for some of the the Dorito nachos, tacos, uh, ta was taco locos, whatever it is. Yeah. Anyway, so I was a little annoyed. And apparently, you know, years ago, I never knew about this. But years ago, um, apparently, Fifty Cent had sued Taco Bell for like four <laughs> million dollars. Um, because they were like, they put it out there, I guess, rather than doing it, you know, directly to him, they put it out there, I guess, on social media at the time, or who knows, they said, um, they asked him to change his name. Uh, what do you call it? So it's funny, because that was like, more or less at the height of when things were getting big for him. And uh -huh. they, they were like, uh, this is they, whenever he had a shorty and it was yeah. their birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's like, it's so, I think it was in 2008 or something like that, which is crazy. If that, I don't think that song's that old. Is it, is it that old? I, I think it's older actually. Oh my God. That's <laughs> insane. Like, I think I remember driving around in like, Oh, three or something singing that oh song. That I don't nuts. know for sure though. I just, my memory and timeline, it, it's, it's all, just discombobulated <laughs> well what do you call it like nowadays i went and for four people it cost me 50 bucks to buy taco bell for my for my family which was ridiculous mm -hmm. <laughs> like i was i was angry when i left yeah you know what i'm saying i went through the drive through and i was just I, uh, you know like what th what you know, it just, it slapped me like a, a freaking dildo and freaking Grand Theft Auto. It was yeah. like, ah, and I go, what the hell just happened? It's rude. Um, it's rude, it's honestly. Rude. It's rude. So back then, they did a whole thing that all the prices or a whole bunch of the items were like 79 cents, 89 cents, and 99 cents. What do you call it? And they were like, why pay more? That was their whole thing. So they made a suggestion to 50 Cent. Uh, what do you call it? To change his name to 79 cent, 89 cent, or 99 cent um what do you call it and it didn't go over well um he didn't say anything at first but apparently like fans were like going at him you know saying that he's selling out blah 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 this that and the next thing so you know that caused him to turn around and and he sued them uh, uh, wait, and he were, won what were they saying that he was selling out for he won saying um what do you call it uh what is it for uh his apparent endorsement of taco bell you know, saying, oh. yeah, yeah, like mm -hmm. uh, they they thought that he agreed to endorse Taco Bell's products and what do you call it? And they just like, I well, they, just, well, you they know never how asked him permission if they could use his name or his likeness. So they went and used his name without any permission. Right. And so, yeah, you know what? Taco Bell, pay up, cough it up, dude, because you can't do that. <laughs> 
then what do you call it? Then uh, um, what do you call it? The guy, the spokesperson at the time, uh, he apparently went to say like, you know, in, in wake of the suit, he said, we made a good faith charitable offer to 50 Cent to change his name to either 79, 89, or 99 for one day by wrapping his order at a Taco Bell. And we would have been very pleased to make the $10,000 donation to the charity of his choice. Like, okay, so then you're also like kind of like oh well okay it's only worth 10 grand like bro like it's you know it's gonna cost you a hell of a lot more than 10 grand even at that time you know what i'm saying like then you're also like gaslighting trying to turn it around like oh well if he would have just done this nice thing we would have been awesome people and made a donation to a chick yeah dude fuck you you don't get to force people into work just because they're famous like craziness that's messed up that's crazy. And uh, what do you call it? Yeah, no. And and what's also funny, talking about crazy legal battles, um, uh, apparently, you know the game The Rapper? Yeah. yeah okay. And, and you know that Triple H is also known as The Game from WWE. Oh, so apparently, no. <laughs> apparently when the, game, <laughs> when the game came out, what do you call it? Um, you know, at The Rapper came out, Triple H sued him for the name The Game. How crazy is that? Apparently, they must have worked something out because he's still using it. Uh, but what do you call it? Like, well, how nuts is that? There was also the fight between Kylie Jenner and Kylie Minogue because Kylie Jenner was trying to trademark her name, Kylie. And Kylie Minogue was like, girl, I've been singing since you were in diapers. Like, there's no way I'm letting you get away with trademarking Kylie. I don't think you can even trademark just the name Kylie. She well, she couldn't. She lost. Right, but I don't think Kylie Minogue could, would have that either. Or, she wasn't trying to. Brand. She wasn't oh. trying to trademark it herself. She was just saying you can't. Like oh. that's it. You can't because that would take it away from her because she also has a brand that is based around her name, Kylie. So they were in a fight, and um, yeah, she was like, "You can't trademark Kylie because that's my name too." Yeah, and no. I am in the business you're in the business yeah that's crazy um what do you call it oh then uh what is this hold on uh john cena apparently in 2017 uh he got hit with a five hundred thousand dollar lawsuit from ford after he sold his brand new gt without the car manufacturer's permission that i don't even understand 12 months huh? later, they settled the suit out of court and Cena issued a public apology to Ford. Like, that makes no sense to me, right? They probably gave him a car to drive around in and endorse, and then he sold it. Mm. And they were like, that's mm. not the plan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, John. So I'm going to look that up real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ford lawsuit. That's interesting. Um car and driver a breach of his contract okay and the proceeds will go to charity so he was planning on sending it giving the the proceeds to charity is what he says which i mean john is that kind of a guy i'll I'll tell you that Mm -hmm. um let's see uh they settled on their legal feud this is from years ago uh cena's purchase and resale of a ford gt Cena will pay Ford an unspecified amount of money, which Ford reportedly will donate to a yet unnamed charity. Okay, he took delivery of an all new 2017 Ford GT supercar. Mm-hmm. He then he then sold the car just a few months later, and in doing so, violated the sales agreement. So it wasn't an endorsement thing; it's something in the sale. I, I it don't stated know. that Ford GT's hand picked customers. Uh-huh. who were chosen through an application process, were not allowed to sell the car for at least two years. Oh. The contract was meant to discourage exactly this type of flipping, uh-huh. but everybody knows pro wrestlers don't follow rules. That's messed up. I follow rules. <laughs> um, Do you, though? Do you follow yeah. all the rules? No. Oh. Shut up, Dana. Shut up, Dana. <laughs> you don't follow the rules either. <sighs> um, yeah. So what do you call it? At a rate, let's see. Okay, interesting. So I didn't know about that. That's pretty pretty wild. Um, talking about new cars, though, did you hear about the guy in Australia who, what do you call it, he apparently had gotten lucky 
And um, what do you call it? Well, first of all, he wasn't so lucky because he like literally he was in the hospital. He died for 14 days. He was con- or 14 minutes. <laughs> Not 14 if he days. came back from the dead after 14 Not, days, no, this no, is then a much different Jesus. story. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> he, he he died for 14 minutes, um, legally dead for 14 minutes, and then they they brought him back. Um, and then I guess to celebrate, he wound up going getting a lottery ticket or something, and he won a new car, like uh, a car worth I think it was like twenty seven thousand dollars or something like something like that. Uh-huh. Um, and then what do you call it? The they like. The news, of course, heard the story and they go, hey, can we recreate that moment? Like, you know, so this way we can have it where you won this. He goes and he scratches off the ticket for them and he wins another two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the freaking scratch off lottery ticket. That's God saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. It's this not your time here. Have a gift. Blows my mind remember when we did the story a while back about the unluckiest or was he the luckiest guy in the world that just like survived death like a fucking cat with nine lives for you know 20 some years yeah this reminds me of that a little bit where it's like is he very lucky or i mean he was pretty unlucky that he was in a coma and died for 14 minutes but then Mm -hmm. it like turned around immediately and all of a sudden he's like Winning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a car, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. Like you know, th- this was, and now this is from a long time ago. This happened like you know, maybe twenty five years ago. But mm-hmm. I mean, this is stuff that like if you don't look for it, you're not going to find it, and you just come across this thing. Um, and I'm just going, what the, what's crazy? Apparently, um, that what do you call it? He, what was it? A uh, okay, it was heart issues. Heart issues? Is that why he? he yeah, he was had in like a hospital? heart attack or something like that, and then he ended up in a in a coma. Um, but would you, if if you had the choice, right? You had to be dead for fourteen minutes, but then you get, I mean, inflation. So let's say five hundred thousand dollars in a car. <laughs> Are you like, go ahead, stop my heart for fourteen minutes? <laughs> No, no, I don't want to feel that pain. I don't want, and you, you don't know what you lose, and that you know what I mean. Like, you don't, yeah. You know, like, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel I mean, like God I'm rolling for, the dice on that one. No, God forbid something happened to me, and and then I wound up winning like that. You know, everything was okay, and I got. Then you're like, okay, all right. I mean, my friend Chris. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, right. My friend Chris. Who lives over not far from you? He lives like up in the hills. What do you call mm-hmm. it? Um, in the mountain over there. Like I don't remember. It's not far from you, but um, he had a widowmaker heart attack, Ooh. and he he drove himself to the hospital, and then they they took him from a you know in a helicopter to another hospital. All right, and and thankfully, knock on wood, he's still alive, and and you know he's. Can't wow. do a lot of things that he did prior, but what do you call it? He's um, you know, he he's he's one of the toughest sons of bitches I know. Um, you know, love him to death, but you know, he's a little little out there. <laughs> he's <laughs> in the, in that California heat in the mountains. So that's you know. the kind where you go, worth it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I do love him to death. I love him to death, and he he survived that. But you know, you know, he didn't win any lottery or anything after that. He won the life lottery. He, <laughs> he, he got to lottery. keep kicking. So yeah, I guess that's yeah. a that's a win in anyone's book. There was another guy, uh, what do you call it, who was struck by lightning when he was 14. And then what do you call it? And he wound up, st- he was still alive. And then uh, uh, he wound up winning the Atlantic Lotto, which gave him a, a, t- a sum of 13 million, almost 14 million dollars. What do you call it? And isn't that crazy? And then, and his <laughs> and his daughter was also struck by lightning. How crazy is that? We're back to worth it. <laughs> worth it. Well, stri- lightning striking. If you gonna if you make it through that, uh, yeah. Like, Damn. You know, no, I don't want to take that chance. Damn. <laughs> I don't want to take that chance. Cr- well, how about let's see if this was worth it. Uh oh. Steve Harvey. Ooh. He has a co-host. Mm-hmm. on his show right what was it something um, strawberry right something strawberry i'm gonna Shirley forget strawberry her. there we go she marries a man and it turns out 
this guy was actually just using her status and celebrity to scam women out of lots and lots of money. Mm -hmm. And they are now in the process of getting divorced if they're not divorced already. But what the fuck? You have to imagine that, like, whenever it comes to that marriage, you're like, ugh, not worth it. Oh, my God. No, not not worth it. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars from twenty five victims. This is like this is like almost almost not. Well, it's maybe worse, but with like the the guy we spoke about with the thirty five girlfriends and uh, like yeah. give them all the different birthdays. Uh -huh. um, if this guy's convicted of fraud, um, he could he could be in jail for a very 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 long time. Um, Sounds like he deserves to be in jail for a very 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 long time 39 counts of fraud is what he's being you know um accused of here this guy's 57 you know uh if he goes to jail for for you know two decades which is what it looks like it might be if he's accused i mean if he's uh convicted uh, you know i don't know if he's gonna get out of prison alive that like i i think about this something i, I will go back to this just for a second just to take a step like to the side hmm. like I, I always think about that, like, you know, why would anybody want to spend their final days in prison? You know what I, don't I mean? I think anybody like, wants to. They're hoping they don't get caught, but then they I, do I get guess. caught. I guess. So I, the thing is, people think that they are smarter than the average bear, and they're not always smarter than the average bear. <laughs> no, no. So he, what do you call it? He took not only not only hundreds of thousands of dollars uh in cash apparently he had personal vehicles motorcycles trailers coach buses uh auto parts and other services and property that he took from these people um apparently they weren't all women it says primarily women mm -hmm. but he swindled them um and then he promised to help them with new business ventures that's uh -huh. what the deal was. He he was yeah. pretending to be a businessman. Mm -hmm. um, and well, and he was also it? saying like, oh, my wife has this high status. I can help you with mm. getting your stuff out there and promoting you. And like he was using her status to defraud people, which is so fucked. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Um, I Look, I, you know, I feel... I feel like really bad for this woman. Um, you know, I really I do wonder feel if bad in turn her. that meant that he was actually kind of using Steve Harvey's also because oh, they're yeah. partners. So that's like double whammy right there, where well, he's like, Oh, I'm this is this is my wife and she works with Steve Harvey. So, you know. I mean, honestly, I I don't watch that show. I watch him on, you know, Family, family Feud, Feud like every Me night. Too. Yeah. And what do you call it? aside from Family Feud, you know, I've I've known him for years, you know, as as being the stand-up comic and he was always great, you know, kings of of comedy, you know, the mm -hmm. whole nine yards. Um but what do you call it? I've never heard of Shirley Strawberry. You me know neither. me. I know a lot of people, a yeah. lot of people, even things that you wouldn't know that you'd know I know. You yeah. know, so that for me, I'm just like a this guy was using the fact that she was on the show with Steve Harvey. Yeah. Say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get your stuff. But what I'm assuming, I, I could be wrong, but just like you said, oh, I could get you on the thing with Steve Harvey promoting it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. You know, like, that's pretty wild, and, and that's a big problem. She could lose her position for that, you know? She could well, lose her position for that. And, and, and now, does that mean that their whole relationship was a farce? Yeah, it was all a f he was using this woman essentially to, you know, push that narrative. Um, so, I mean, they've been separated since 2022. I'm not sure if their divorce is final yet, but he's he's in big trouble. <laughs> he's in a lot of trouble. Documents allege he knowingly entered into a fraudulent marriage with mm -hmm. Shirley Strawberry. So I so OK, so it was a fraudulent marriage. What does that mean? Oh, because of of what he was doing. Yes. Okay. So so like that he really. It's did... not on her. It's on him. Okay. Used yeah. her high profile celebrity to coerce his victims into believing his legitimacy as a prominent businessman. That does that mean that we're low profile celebrity because she's a high profile celebrity? Yes. Or or mid? Are we mid? <laughs> we mid. Mid. We mid. Okay. 
just trying to understand. Um, we believe she met a man, fell in love, and married him. And the truth is, at the time, he was already married to someone else. Oh, oh my God. God. That is uh, fucking hate people, man. Humans are the worst. People are just disgusting. Man. They're it's awful. Just... Uh, that man. was probably heartbreaking for her. We're sorry, I'm Shelly sure. Strawberry. I'm sorry, Miss Strawberry. I'm, I'm very sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking to see what else is on here that that we might be able to put in here. Um, oh, and there was a, there was somebody that helped him, Erica King, um, who went under the name Erica Hewley. Interesting. Wow. So it wasn't just she. So he wasn't just using her by himself. He was in cahoots with this Erica King person. To which, like, bro, somehow you scored this this you know name who's got money and power and you know what I mean. I I didn't know who she was, but you know at the end of the, and you and you're getting with this other woman on the side to like screw this guy. Like you stupid man. You are stupid. Yep. What do you need that seven hundred fifty grand for? You you if you're married into the wealth. 750 grand is yeah. i mean that's a lot of money and he people will do anything it blows my mind people will do anything for money it is crazy to me how much money has a hold on people and like just like for love people murder for love people murder for money those are like the top two reasons that people murder that's crazy Straw, uh, Shirley Strawberry. Uh, I'm just want to see if they, if they have what her, you know, uh, renewed her morning show contract with Steve Harvey for five million over five years. So she's making a million a year, yeah, girl. So if she's making a million a year based just on that, um, what do you call it? First of all, Steve. You should have dumped her ass and brought old Brim and 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 uh, you know I'd have brought Dana in as well, and then we would have done a thing. How about we all? How about we don't kick Shirley to the curb and we just all go in together? <laughs> I would like to take that money. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> she's already proved irresponsible. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I she just didn't prove I anything. Just, I just. Yeah. Um, what do you call it? But yeah, if she's if she's doing, she's making a mill a year. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like. Get the it, fact, girl. The Let's go, matter, strawberry. Like, think about that. Like, so you scam people out of, of almost, a, of a, well, under a million, uh -huh. so 750000 which is obviously a lot of fucking money. But, you know, you scam these people out of, but the woman that you were married to, I guess fraudulently, uh, because you were already married, but she's already making way more than that. Mm -hmm. Why would you be so greedy? Like, what? Right? Am I wrong? Money, money, money. Everybody's greedy, greedy, yeah, and they want power. You know, like, so, you know, did you know that the 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 girls on and just like that and sex in the city, that but and just like that, they make a million dollars an episode. Good for them. Uh, isn't that ridiculously unbelievable? Like a million dollars. Think about that. Well, the, think and about this woman sports. Think about quarterbacks. Think a about ridiculous people in amount baseball. Of money. Think about it like <sighs> It, and it just keeps going up. And that's why Agreed. we're spending $12 on a loaf of bread because everything just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. It is so mind boggling to me, the money power grab that is just fucking all the little people because we're making, you know, $15 at McDonald's rather. And then there's people out there making a million dollars to, you know, do an episode of a show. Yeah. I mean, I, Listen, I, I, you know, get get your money. You know what I mean? Get your money. Sure. But I just don't like the sports thing drives me wild. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like the 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 people that are getting like a five year contract for twenty five million, you know, crap like that, you know, and you're going, What? You're I playing know. a freaking game. You know, and again, look, I came from wrestling. I know that wrestlers make the least amount of money of all sports. And we're the ones putting our bodies on the line a lot more than everybody else, except for football, except for football. And even football, you're playing a total of 30 seconds in, in, in you know, what, what, no, three minutes. Is that the total of a I whole no game? Idea. Like I have the, no the, idea. It's <laughs> something like that. A total minute, the total time of gameplay, you know, uh, in a football game, 11 minutes. 
11 minutes full play time and they're making millions and millions and millions of dollars on that anyway well sorry there Shirley uh you know hopefully better luck next time uh <laughs> what do you call it um so sorry to hear that uh that's about yeah, all the time rough. we have ladies and gentlemen we will see you guys again next week. We've got something special for you. Uh, we're still away on vacation, so uh, hopefully we are going to come back bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for uh, rating, reviewing, subscribing. Uh, Day, you want to let them know the one rule of Dirty Little Secrets Club? Yes, guys. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you again, God willing, next week. Something from you, you got another thing coming